this time of night that we like to take a closer look at the weather, learn something, right. have some kids, give us some questions. A lot of questions from the kids, and uh, let's see what we have tonight with Scott. They've been fire, just rapid fire questions <laughs> at me since, I don't know, the last couple of months, and we've been answering it's questions been left and right, and it's been great. Some excellent questions, learning a lot about weather, and this question has to do a little bit about, uh, well, kind of what I do in my job. Hi, my name is Luke, and I go to Horizon Elementary, and my question is, how do you know if the weather is ahead of time? Luke, great question from Horizon Elementary. How do I know if the weather is going to be ahead of time? Well, I've got this dartboard, and then I just throw it. No, I don't, that's just, just kidding. I don't have a dartboard. Not for that, anyway. No, I don't have a dartboard. But I do look at weather charts. I, in fact, uh, I did get a chance to show Luke, because we ran out of time at Horizon Elementary, but I'd show uh, a sample of a weather balloon. And the weather balloon is sent on up to gather weather information, and it's done every day, 12 hours, every 12 hours, so twice a day, around the entire globe at the same time, so we can get a snapshot of what's going on in the upper atmosphere. And if we know what's happening now, through physics, the physics of, in, in, in the science of meteorology, we can forecast what's supposed to happen in the future. This particular weather chart, here's Idaho right here, here is a five-day uh, cumulative precipitation, the quantitative precipitation forecast. Now, how much precipitation should fall? This is one from uh, a few days back, anyway, and showed a lot of rain up here. This is one of the particular charts that I'll look at. The charts are important, but we have to remember that it has a lot of error involved as we look out. This chart looked out uh, uh, several days here, and this is the East Coast. If you look closer, here, here's Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Southern New England, and this right here was Athena, the winter storm system causing all of the strong winds, and I can tell by the pressure lines where the strongest winds are, and so I was watching this, and the charts were showing it move up to the north, but I had to say, okay, is this really going to happen, or through meteorology do I think something else is going to happen? So I rely heavily on computer charts that have been put together by extremely smart meteorologists that really do some heavy, hardcore research and how the atmosphere works and they put all that information into computers that are getting faster and faster and so the forecasts are becoming more and more accurate as we go through time which is great news and so this one here from the United States showing where precipitation is falling here's the storm system in the center part of the nation in fact this one is looking out in the future this is the storm that's over us now it's going to be heading out towards Iowa as it moves a little bit further to the east so the forecast charts are very very important I'm always looking here across the northwest in Idaho this isn't to tomorrow's chart but tomorrow's chart on three computer models is showing some light snow falling somewhere between Boise and just east of Mountain Home. And if that sets up tomorrow morning, it couldn't be rather interesting heading on off to work. If you've got questions or photos, if you uh, have a son or a daughter in school, you could ask their teacher if they want me to come visit their class to talk weather. You can reach me at weather at fox9now.com. Excuse me, Professor Dorval, I have a quick question for uh, you. Yes, you're the best. Yes, so <laughs> when you say sometimes in your forecast that the computers are not saying the exact same thing, they're not adding up correctly. Are you saying that those models that you just showed us maybe have differences in them and you're trying to study the different models? That's that's exactly it. If, if several models all are saying the same thing, there's a high confidence in that forecast that sure. everything looks about right. But when there's a big scattering, it's because the atmosphere is having a hard time. It's a hard time locking in on it. And so the confidence drops off on the forecast. And we might say, well, let's wait a little longer on this so we can get a better, better forecast. Got it. That makes a lot of sense. I've always wondered what he meant by Computers that. Computers are getting better all the time. Yes, they <laughs> so are. So, Scott, still ahead on Fox 9 on your side.